Okay, Kelly, I've got your work up right here. Here's your letterhead, and I've got your business card up. So the main thing I'm seeing here, the first thing I see, and I think the most important thing is that your branding is inconsistent between your letterhead and your business card. Let me show you what I mean. In your letterhead, you're showing this presentation for your logo, and you've got the KD black, then you've got the black Kelly and the purple Danner on a white background. Okay, I think that's a great logo. I love it. I, I think you've, you've done well. I think Kelly Danner, a graphic designer, should be a little bit bigger in relationship to that mark. But, and, and I would write a line, graphic designer, instead of centering it. But that's a nice mark, okay? That's a good-looking logo right there. So we come over here, and the logo is now different on your business card. Remember, this is all about consistency. It's all about branding yourself with consistency. So this logo presentation here is different than this logo presentation here, and that is showing a, an inconsistency in your branding between your in your stationary piece, and and that is highly not recommended. This this has got to be so highly cohesive that shows your potential employer that you've got a, a good solid understanding of why and how to create this cohesive. Uh, relationship between your stationary pieces. Okay, so again, your 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 logo here right now is bleeding off your business card, so it's not a complete logo. Here is your complete logo. So to do that to your own branding, I think is is a mistake. You're compromising your own brand. Okay, really important stuff that I, that 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 you understand why I'm saying that and how that you know the the how that works. The relationship between the mark here and the name is completely different. So you want to get your, your, your logo established with your name and just be really consistent with that, as consistent as possible. The next thing I see on your, pay, your uh, letterhead is that you've got a lot of blocky areas here. You've got this big purple um, rectangle here. You've got another one in the bottom. Then you have this uh, vertical rule, then this horizontal rule. So you're kind of like dicing everything up. It looks very fragmented. My recommendation would be remove all of that Okay, and then just take your name and span the bottom of the letterhead. So this relationship between this, the, the contact information at the bottom of the letterhead and your logo at the top of the letterhead creates this wide open relationship that creates a ver very versatile letterhead. In the business card itself, I would definitely try to, to do something with with the, that relationship. It doesn't have to be identical. You know, you, you can go with the mark on your business card and separate your name. That's fine. But um, I think this is just too too much. I mean, it's, it's not even the same logo. Half of your logo is being cut off here by the business card. Another thing in the business card is that I'm seeing, um, watch what happens when we back off a little bit. So, and that reverse type, you can't read it. You won't be able to read your business card at a distance because you've got a serif typeface on a color background and, and it's a reverse type. So you, you've got to either um, change that to a sans serif and open up your, your letting. Um, you, you, got, you should open up that letting everywhere every, anyway on reversed type. So, um, and, and uh, I'm sorry, I, I did not mean letting, I meant kerning, the space between your letters. Okay, and I can see that's really tight kerning all the way around here, so keep that in mind. All right, so that's what my recommendations would be. Um, I just think right now there's just not a real, real tight visual cohesion between the letterhead and the, uh, and the business card in a nutshell. Okay, any questions at all, Kelly, let me know if I need to clarify anything. I'll be glad to. Thank you very much.